This is the Epson ET3760 EcoTank ink tank printer. I'm going to set this up and show you guys what this printer can do and see what features it has and the print quality. Want to get it all unwrapped here. Got a few pieces of tape we got to get off from the outside and the inside. And this is the ink that came with it. And we're going to get it filled up. Okay, we have the printer open now, and we have all the tape removed. We're going to get inside here and fill these tanks up with ink. One thing to keep in mind is when you open this compartment up and you fill these ink tanks, make sure that you're matching the colors with the ink compartments. Matching the black with the black, the cyan with the cyan. The magenta with the magenta, the yellow with the yellow. This is where you put the ink in. Open the compartment here. We'll drop the tank here in a second. Where the cyan goes. This is where the magenta goes. And the yellow tank. Right here, you don't want to mess with these tubes, this plastic covering. It looks like something you're supposed to take off, but you want to leave that plastic covering there. And leave those tubes. Uh, those are for the where the ink flows, and you don't want to pull those or move those or knock them loose. So when you move all the, take all the tape out the printer, make sure you don't mess with that plastic on that. Okay, we're going to get this black ink here and fill up the black compartment. One thing to keep in mind here is not to shake or squeeze the ink bottle. You just want to sit it up upright and just drop it in. But you don't want to squeeze it and you don't want to shake it. Just turn it up, set it on there, and you let it fill up. You don't have to worry about it overflowing or anything like that. It'll just fill up and then when it can't fill anymore, it'll just stop. You just pull it off.
Here we're getting the cyan ready. I'm going to pour this in. It's going to make sure we're matching up. Double checking here to make sure I'm putting the right color into the right compartment. It can be a costly mistake if you put the wrong color in the wrong compartment. So let's double check in here. Okay, so now we're going to put the cyan in. Close the black lid here. Open it up. Remember not to shake. No need to shake the ink. Just hold it upright. It won't leak out. The ink won't start to come out until it's placed into the compartment. It locks in. Now to start filling the compartment. And like I said, it won't overfill. Once the compartment is full, it'll just stop. And you can pull it out. And if this is your first time using the printer, uh, you'll have a little extra left over because the ink has to get charged into the tubes. Okay, now we're going to fill up the magenta tank. Close the cyan lid here. Just tilt it right in. Just let it flow out on its own. Remember, you don't have to squeeze it. You just let it come out on its own. Let it come right out. Now we're filling the magenta. Okay, we're all done with the magenta. Get this, pull it out. Now we're going to fill up the yellow tank. And the same process here. Try 
just like the others, just tilt it, and drop it in. Line it up. And let it fill up. Now that we have the ink compartments filled up, we're going to load in the paper and prepare the printer to be plugged in. I'm going to open up this bottom tray, the very bottom. We're going to slide the paper. Slide the paper holder open. Make sure you push the paper all the way up to the front. And just slide it closed. Charging the ink, the initial setup it takes about ten minutes. Charging is done. What we're going to do now is take the remaining ink that was in those bottles. Now that the charging is done, we can finish. We can top those uh, ink levels off and completely use those ink bottles that came with the printer. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to top these ink containers back off then go to the next step. Okay, we have um, the ink containers all topped off now. So we're just going to go through the settings here uh, into the printer just to refill, reset the ink level settings in the printer. So the printer knows that everything's been topped off. And the control panel here for this printer is really easy to use. I like it. I had another printer that was a touch screen. And this here is a lot better, just having the control panel to control the screen rather than trying to use a small touch screen. Just setting the paper size here. There's a lot of different settings in this panel you have to go through. Not too many, but a lot of options. And uh, just going through them here.
Okay, everything is set up and we're doing our first print job. This is a, a photo print on plain paper. Um, it'll look a lot better if it was on gloss, but still impressive um, for this affordable printer here um, on plain paper. This picture came out nice. It's a little wet, just a little wet, not too bad. Just had to let it dry off a little bit, but an overall good picture for the price, especially being on plain paper instead of gloss. I think it did an excellent job.